15 Things You Didn't Know About Oprah Winfrey. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome to another interesting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're talking about the media mogul, talk show host, actress, philanthropist, and producer, otherwise known as the queen of all media, none other than Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey was born January 29th, 1954, and her birth certificate shows that her name is actually Orpa, but it was mispronounced so many times as Oprah that it stuck. She grew up poor but had great ambitions to make a name for herself. She started out working in radio and then moved to co-anchoring the evening news in Baltimore. After a couple of other gigs, she moved to Chicago and became a co-host of AM Chicago. Within months, the show moved from last place to first place in the ratings, and Oprah's career took off. Movie critic Roger Ebert convinced her to sign a syndication deal with King World, and then the Oprah Winfrey show was born. Oprah became the number one daytime talk show host in America, and her show ran successfully for 25 years. She has since become a media mogul. She founded Harpo Productions, co-founded the women's cable network Oxygen, launched OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network, and published O Magazine. She is also a film actress, a voice actress, and an author, and in 2017, it was announced that she would become a special contributor to the news program 60 Minutes. All of that and we've barely scratched the surface of what this self-made billionaire has accomplished. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We are inspired by her determination, compassion, business sense, and success. So let's take a closer look at one of the most influential people in the world with the 15 things you didn't know about Oprah Winfrey. Number one, her producer once suggested she change her name. Early in Oprah's career, her producer told her that she should change her name to Susie to make her more relatable. When President Obama awarded her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, America's highest civilian honor in 2013, he recounted that fact and said that he had been given the same advice. Number two, she was fired from her first job as an anchor. After studying communications and performing arts at Tennessee State University in Nashville, Oprah took a job as a co-anchor on Baltimore TV news station WJZ-TV. She was fired after only seven and a half months and was told she was unfit for television news. Oprah said hearing that shook her to her core and it led her to the greatest growing period in her adult life. The positive side is that this is where she met her lifelong best friend, Gail King, who was working at the station as a production assistant. Number 3. She spent a part of her childhood living on a farm. Oprah's mother was 19 when she was born and was a single mother. Oprah's mother moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin to find work and let her live with her grandmother, Hattie Mae Lee, on a farm in rural Mississippi until the age of six. She credits her grandmother with giving her a positive sense of self and encouraging her to participate in public speaking. Number 4. She skipped kindergarten. Oprah's grandmother started teaching her how to read at the age of three, and soon she was able to read and write well past her age level. Just two days after she started kindergarten, Oprah wrote a note to her teacher that said, I don't think I belong here because I know a lot of big words. Her teacher agreed with Oprah and shortly after she was allowed to skip to first grade. Number 5. She broke up with her high school boyfriend on Valentine's Day. Oprah dated a man named Anthony Ote in high school and he still has hundreds of love notes she wrote to him. He says the two of them discussed getting married, but he knew she was destined for bigger and better things that he could provide her. She ended up breaking up with him on Valentine's Day their senior year. She dated a few other men before getting with Stedman, the most well-known being a musical artist and radio personality, John Tesh. Number 6. She doesn't allow gum at her workplace. As a child, Oprah said that her grandmother used to chew gum and then stick it in the cabinet. She remembers there were rows and rows of chewed up gum and she was afraid of it. She admits that she still has a thing about gum and doesn't allow any gum in the buildings where she works. 
She even says she freaked out when she saw Jamie Foxx chewing gum at the 2005 Oscars before he won his first Oscar for Best Actor in Ray. She demanded that he dispose of his gum, and he obliged. Number 7. She had a son that died shortly after birth. When Oprah was 14, she was living with a man thought to be her father, Vernon Winfrey, in Nashville. That year, she found out that she was pregnant and kept the news from her family for seven months. She went into early labor the same day she admitted the truth to her father and delivered a baby boy. Sadly, the baby lived less than two weeks, and Oprah never had any more children. Number 8. She is at least 8% Native American Oprah discovered that she is at least 8% Native American when she underwent a DNA test for the PBS show African American Lives. This is based on her mother's bloodline, as she isn't 100% sure who her father is. Vernon Winfrey and Noah Robinson Sr. both claim to be her father. Number 9. She bought a $25 million miniature pony farm next to her $50 million mansion. One of Oprah's homes is a $50 million mansion in Montecito, California. She had her eye on the property next door for years and would drive her golf cart over and bring the owner presents and offer to buy the house, but the owner, a woman named Mary, refused to even talk about selling. As a multi-billionaire, Oprah is probably not used to hearing no too often, but she did eventually get her way. When the owner died in 2015, her children put the estate up for auction, and Oprah won it with a $25 million bid. The 25-acre miniature horse farm comes with a four-bedroom, four-and-a-half bathroom house, but Oprah mainly bought the estate for privacy reasons. Number 10. She was the first African-American woman named to the Forbes list of billionaires. In 2000, Oprah's net worth was $800 million. By 2006, she was the highest paid TV entertainer in the United States, earning $260 million a year, which was more than five times the salary of the second highest paid TV entertainer, Simon Cowell. By 2008, she was making $275 million a year. Forbes named her as the first black billionaire in world history, and she was the world's only black billionaire from 2004 to 2006. With a net worth of $2.9 billion, she remains the richest self-made woman in America. To check out who else came up from nothing to be worth billions, click in the upper right-hand corner to watch our video of 15 self-made billionaires that were once poor. Number 11. You can only get to her $14 million mansion by gondola. Another property Oprah owns is a $14 million mansion in Mountain Village, which is located in Telluride, Colorado. The only way to get to the home is by gondola. It takes about 10 minutes to ride the gondola up one side of the mountain and down the other. The home has a wine cellar that was built to resemble a historic mining tunnel, complete with water mists and sound effects to make it seem more authentic. The cellar holds 1,600 bottles of wine. Number 12. She has been engaged to Stedman Graham for around 25 years. It is common knowledge that Oprah and Stedman have been an item for many years, since 1986 actually, but have never tied the knot. The two are technically engaged though. One day back in 1992, Stedman took a trip from Chicago to Oprah's farmhouse in Indiana. When she went to greet him upon his arrival, he got out of the car and immediately proposed, and she accepted. When asked why the two had never married, Oprah said, Had we married, we would not be together today because he's a traditional man, and this is not a traditional relationship. I think it's acceptable as a relationship, but if I had the title of wife, I think there would be other expectations of what a wife is and what a wife does. Number 13. She conducted the most watched interview in television history. Oprah has interviewed countless celebrities, but one stands out as the most watched interview in television history. That interview was February 10, 1993, when Oprah sat face to face with Michael Jackson on The Oprah Show. Jackson had not given an interview during the 14 years prior, but he allowed Oprah to come to the Neverland Ranch, and the interview was viewed by a record breaking 90 million people. The second most watched interview was between Barbara Walters and Monica Lewinsky in 1999, which received 74 million viewers. Number 14. She owns a $42 million custom jet. 
Oprah's private jet of choice is the Global Express XRS jet, which is also the brand owned by Celine Dion and Steven Spielberg. The jet is powered by twin Rolls-Royce engines, and it can fly up to 16 hours without refueling. The all-leather interior can accommodate up to 14 passengers, and of course, it comes with a full bathroom with designer fixtures. Number 15. Oprah's pets will inherit millions when she dies. Anyone that is familiar with Oprah knows her dogs and other pets are very precious to her, so much so that she actually added them as beneficiaries in her will. Oprah wanted to ensure that if she were to die, that her pets would live lavish lives without her, so she willed $30 million to her surviving pets. Now that you've learned more about Oprah, we want to know what you would do if you had $3 billion to your name. Let us know in the comments. And thanks for sticking around. Here's a bonus fact just for you. In addition to her Montecito, California estate, which she has named the Promised Land and the neighboring farm, she also owns a 15,000 square foot duplex in Chicago, a luxurious farmhouse in Kula, Hawaii, the Colorado estate we mentioned earlier, and a vacation home on the shores of Antigua, for a total of well over $100 million in real estate. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.